Hey guys, um, so I have decided for the next couple weeks to just film the vlogs on my iPhone. Um, we're having technical difficulties with my computer and the other camera and um, just to save some sanity, um, I'm going to forego the intro and outro and just film on the iPhone and upload them from there and uh, hopefully that's okay with all of you guys. Um, I also have decided that instead of doing the roundup post, I'm going to try and just do one blog post per blog post. Uh, when I think the subject's interesting enough to share. Um, and I might have gotten it wrong for this one because we're going to talk about toilet paper, but um, I thought it was an important subject to write about or to blog, blog about because I thought that I understood the circular story behind toilet paper in that it came from trees and then the trees were cut down and turned into toilet paper and then we use the toilet paper and it goes into the toilet and uh, it biodegrades, which essentially is the story. Um, but there are some other components to it that I hadn't really thought about. Um, there's this quote that I saw on a TED talk by this guy named William McDonoghue, I think is how I pronounce his last name. Um, and I'm just going to read it to you because it kind of, uh, was in it has inspired me to write this, this post and a number of other posts. Um, but he says, if you look at a tree and think of it as a design assignment, it would be like asking you to make something that makes oxygen, sequesters carb carbon, fixes nitrogen, distills water, provides habitat for hundreds of species, accrues solar energy fu energy's fuels, makes complex sugars and foods, um, changes colors with the season, creates microclimates, and self-replicates. But by all means, let's cut it down and write on it. And obviously, even wor worse than writing on it is um, using it to wipe up our secretions. Um, so basically, like 98% of American toilet paper is made from virgin woods, even though um, the it costs about the same amount to um, make toilet paper from recycled materials. And the reason that they are making it with virgin woods is because we, the public, have decided that we want quilted, double ply, bleached or colored, um, super soft toilet paper, um, which cannot be made with recycled materials. The recycled material toilet paper is a little bit harder like this stuff. Um, I haven't been able to find any that is unbleached in my local bio stores here in France, um, so I'm going to order some online when we run out of this stuff. Um, but ideally you want to be going for recycled uh, or unbleached uh, toilet paper made from recycled materials. Um, one of the other reasons I want to talk about this too is because like there are a number of products that we buy for ourselves that we don't necessarily need and we choose to have the more luxurious product because we think that we deserve that and so if we ask ourselves what what that need is inside of ourselves based on like Maslow's hierarchy of needs um, the answer is going to be esteem, which is just basically ego. So the reason that we're cutting down millions of trees is so that we can have toilet paper that makes us feel like we are better than other people or that we have something luxurious in our home, which is kind of silly. Um, basically, like the New York Times has reported that there's been a 40% rise in luxury toilet paper sales due to the marketing that we are responding to. Um, for a thousand rolls of toilet paper, it takes one tree. So one tree per thousand rolls of toilet paper. In the U.S., um, they are buying about seven billion rolls per year. So that means that um, 7 million trees are being cut down just for American asses. Um, and there are a number of solutions that can be considered. Number one is obviously what I've already spoken about, um, that you can buy unbleached toilet paper made from recycled materials. Um, the other option is a bidet, a bidet. I live in Europe and have for the past 10 years, and I have used bidets a number of times. They're not my favorite thing in the world, but I think um, in exchange for oxygen, I could probably live with using one. You can buy ones that just sort of attach to your toilet, and you can also just replace the top of your toilet with this bidet machine thing that has a, a remote control, which could be fun. Um, and that's a little bit more of an a investment you're talking about, I think when I looked online, was about between 60 American dollars and like 600 American dollars to replace uh, your normal, to normal toilet with a bidet toilet, 
or bidet add-ons. Um, the other option, and this one is one I haven't tried yet, is using reusable wipes. So the idea behind this is the zero waste movement, which I'm 100% behind, but I'm not sure that I would be for uh, number twos. But I did watch a couple of videos of people who are going through the transformation from using toilet paper to using reusable wipes. And they basically said that like they're just using the reusable wipes for number ones, and for number twos they're still using toilet paper. Um, for number ones, it's okay because pee is sterile, whereas number twos are not sterile and carry um, a lot of bacteria, so you want to be a little bit more careful about how you're, you're washing those and disposing of the um, stuff on it, we'll just say. Um, the recycled materials that people are mostly using are either like cut up flannel shirts from um, secondhand stores or reusable baby wipes which you can buy online. I've linked in in my blog post about this, um, about toilet paper below, a number of different options that you can consider as well as where to get them from. Um, I forgot to mention too that like Greenpeace said that owning an SUV is less harmful to the planet than using toilet paper that comes from Virgin Woods based on the uh, effects of processing that toilet paper and also um, the, sorry, this fruit fly, also the, um, uh, I've totally lost my train of thought, uh, yeah, the ecological effects of producing toilet paper, which includes cutting down trees and what those trees mean to our environment. Um, so I thought that it was an interesting sort of uh, consideration when you're deciding whether or not you can give up the double ply, super bleached, um, luxurious, silky toilet paper for something that's a little bit rougher or for a bidet or if you're really going to go for it for a um, reusable wipe. But um, that's up for you to decide, but I thought I would just share that information. If you have any questions, I've linked in the blog post below, but if there's things I didn't cover or um, if you have any comments or anything else, just comment or leave your questions below. Um, if you'd like to see more of these videos, subscribe, and if you'd like to give it a thumbs up, that'd be super helpful. Um, and you can follow my Gone Green 2016 series um, on my blog below, which is leotlovely.blogspot.com. Wishing you a beautiful day, and I will see you soon. Bye!